that, let's close out with this one. Pat McAfee signs an expanded partnership with a gambling company that we are not supposed to name on the show. So go check out sportsbookreview.com. But uh, it is the first ever official partnership between a legal sportsbook and a sports media personality. This is a massive, massive deal. They are expanding to build a differentiated influencer network. They are talking about all kinds of different things. McAfee's show is going to expand to three hours. This is huge. If you haven't seen the video, go watch. It's at Pat McAfee on Twitter or Instagram or whatever. Go take a look at it. The guy, when the deal went through yesterday, went to the bank, got out, what, $500,000 in cash, and took $50,000 in cash, in backpacks, to each of the guys that work on his show. Now, we've only got two guys that work on our show. It's just me and Chris. $50,000 in cash, a lot of money. Like, we would both feel really good about that. But we ain't there yet. But McAfee, you know... Retired from the NFL 2017, joined Barstool, then started his own thing. He was on DAZN for a little bit. He is now moving over to uh, this gambling company's network, and it, it's pretty massive. Uh, I know that you were irritated about the Adam Schefter tweet, and we're not going to spend a lot of time on it, but Schefter said that if you look at the deal that he got here, and, and there's no money that has come out. We don't have the details of the deal, which is weird for him yeah. to say if you look at the deal. But, yeah. Okay. But, uh, and Mike, Mike jumped in and said, Pat show was fun. I think some people inside know that it's a really, really big deal. I think some people know the fine. numbers. That's but fine. he said, Schefter did, uh, that this would make Pat McAfee the highest paid specialist in NFL history. If you compare punters and kickers to what McAfee is doing now. Now, obviously, McAfee is not in the NFL now, but if you just look at the money aspect of it, what he left on the table before was around $6 million that he left on the table. Now, he probably would have been, you know, he could have kept that thing going even longer, but he had $6 million left on the table. That, you know, if you're a punter, you strap on your helmet, you go out, you make 2 $3 million a year, and you don't really have to worry about a whole lot. However, if you bet on yourself and you know that you're better than some of the guys that are doing the sports media stuff, you go out there, bet on yourself, and you can make an astronomical amount. Now, what Chris would like to do is compare it to Michael Fritz jumps in on Twitch. He said, what's up, fellas? It's good to see him in. Um, If you compare it to Dave Portnoy and Clay Travis and the ESPN personalities and da-da-da-da-da-da, what is he making in regard to that? Bill Simmons and yeah. and Joe Rogan, yeah. people who do podcasts and and sports media networks, you know things like that. That's who you should be comparing them to. You can't compare them to other punters. Okay, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my life. That makes no sense at all. Yeah, yeah. Like, now, I, I really want to like Scheffner, but well, lately, the reason it, it, you you got to look at it from this perspective, just, like he's that, that's trying to make some type of a headline when just. What he accomplished is a big deal in itself. Why on earth? He hasn't put it in six years. When it, look, it was 2017 when he retired, and the reason right, that he brings years. it up, the reason that he brings it up is because everybody said it was a terrible idea oh, and for him wrong. to do that. And People they were absolutely wrong. wrong. All the time. <laughs> Damien jumps in and said, Cody Parkey is practicing his kicks right now. <laughs> How many times Listen, has Cody Parkey been brought up on this show, man? People are wrong a lot. Yeah, I don't. I don't get how this is any different. And I didn't think this was that big of an extreme thing when he quit. He was a punter, man. Okay, so he had a six million dollar deal that I assure you was not guaranteed. And if the team wanted to cut him to save money, they would have. And I bet at three million dollars a year for the two years that he was under contract, he was the highest paid punter in football because punters don't make three million dollars a year. Uh, ben jumped not in. Not today and not then. No, agreed. Ian said, uh, or Ben said, Ian Rappaport is superior. Yeah, we agree with that. 100%. And that is strictly just look at who's right and look at who's wrong and look at who's trying to get clicks by saying things weird. But here's what's strange. The news itself is great news. Yes. The, the, this is a big deal for Pat. Compare him to the people he's working with now, Okay. And let's judge him based on the field he's in right now because he's killing it. 
He's doing unbelievable. Well, he's he's in every aspect of sport. He's in yeah. So why he's are in we, WWE. Why are we trying to compare him to something that he doesn't do anymore and hasn't done for three years? Uh, Mike jumped in. He said, "Yes, I agree. Uh, I pay. Uh, excuse me. I pay attention to Ian more than I do Adam." Yeah, I, I, we we talked about that on the show yesterday or Monday, whatever it was. It was um, the day that the the Watts the the Mahomes money came out, and yeah. I guess that was Monday, right? So. Me All either. these days run together. I don't know what today is. <laughs> today is Wednesday, and you I'm get to here. handle the show by yourself for the next two days. Is there anything else that's okay. broken, by the way? What? Is there anything else that's broken? I don't see anything. No, nothing. All right. With that said, uh, we are going to go ahead and let you guys get out of here. You guys have helped drive the show yet again. We always appreciate everybody that jumps in on the live show. We cannot thank you enough. Keep doing it. Share the show out. Let's grow this community, build this thing up a little more, and maybe we'll get one of those fat contracts like Pat McAfee did and we would, uh, we would definitely appreciate you guys for <laughs> helping with that. So, uh, go and subscribe to the podcast. Apple Podcasts, leave a nice five-star written review, if you would so kindly. We would appreciate that. Share the show out as much as you can. We're on Periscope, Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. And, of course, there is the website, winningcureseverything.com. Go check out our buddies over at sportsbookreview.com. We will be doing all of our... College football stuff. Uh, Michael said, sorry, I missed y'all giggle. And he said, I was so happy to see the Ryder Cup postponed. Yes. Uh, if you wanted a fan-friendly event, that was the only solution. Go back and listen to the show. Download the podcast, Michael. We appreciate you. Mike Campion said, thanks, guys. I'm glad my notifications are working again. Hey, we are, too. We definitely are, too. We want more people hopping in here. solo. It won't be live, so you won't be able to chat the way you have been. Sorry. I don't know how to do that. I'm not that tech savvy. <laughs> I'm just hoping to get it out tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, hey, ben, ben said, if you do, you can get the cameo, uh, the celeb cameo. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Uh, I don't get those celeb cameos. <laughs> Joseph said, yeah, we want that little book bag of money, too. 5,000 works. Hey, you guys get us a fat contract like that. We'll see what yeah. we can do. You guys I, I are really the. Wish we knew the money. You, you guys are the central core. You are the core fan base, and we appreciate you so much for being here and knocking that out for us. So, again, Podcast, all of the different live feeds, the website. Hey, can I get two seconds to throw out one thing that I just saw? Literally open Twitter to see what's breaking. Yeah, go ahead. Um, three pay, three different Patriot blogs. I know no one cares. Just shared out. Antonio Brown just posted a picture of himself in his uh, Patriot jersey with winking eyes. And they said, holy shit, it's on. Let's go. We'll see. We'll see. I'll let you talk about that tomorrow. <laughs> I don't think that that's uh, happening, by the way. You you cannot call out the owner for getting jerked off by oh, masseuse no. openly and then him hire you back. No, I no, no, no. don't know that that works well, but... Ben, ben jumped in on Twitch and said, nobody cares. <laughs> the guys are killing you. They're killing you. you All right. Care, you don't care if it happens. Yeah, you got that right. All right, fellas. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And Chris, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.